right y'all so whew, we out here continuing on with what we got to do on expanding the homestead so um they just raking right now we're gonna pull these two tarps up um and get them in this area and that's gonna close out probably all of this and once that close out all this then this just it'll be ready for spring too so i still have buckets that i need to put on this tarp right here and about these two that they're gonna move up and then we'll go from there so what the greenhouse is looking like so far we still got to get bricks still got to get bricks that is coming in the next couple days we'll go get bricks to brick it down and need some more t-posts too so we can make sure it's good and sturdy but this is what it's looking like this is what it's looking like okay all right so i have the windows up in here and whatnot and yeah this is what i have her looking like so far so i'll be growing a lot of um some spring and summer crops in here throughout the winter since we're getting ready for our first frost in a couple days i am going to go ahead this is tomato plant that i got um a couple days ago let me get my cutter and i'm gonna go ahead and unroot that and put it in the greenhouse
Oh, Jay. Bring me that, um, the one of them green tomato cage I just told you to pull up. No, it's a red one. A red one. Bussin. And it's fine to do. I hope you didn't check it before you brought it in here. Uh -oh. What was you saying? I'm like, bussin. I'm You've been doing this since we've been out. Oh yeah, okay y'all, so I got to take care of the quails real quick. Um, we're going to be mixing food. I'm going to go in and get these eggs real quick. I hadn't got them in a couple days. Um, go ahead and get the eggs. And then start giving them water and everything like that. So, yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Um, is go in and collect. Let's see how many I hadn't picked up in about three days. So let's see how much I'm going to... Count them out loud, okay? All right. All right. I hope y'all can hear me. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, I just picked up 21 eggs y'all so this is what I done got in one week one week 
whole basket of quail eggs. All right, y'all. So it's that time for us to uh, put food in here. So, oh, that was the cracked corn that I had bought and never put in there. Okay, well we can do that. Yeah, that's what we got. Normally be scratch grain, but this cracked corn was um, cheaper um, a couple months ago, and the bag was never open. So that with game bird feed, <clears throat> and this last. Um, wow, it lasts. If y'all remember when I got rid of my chickens, like I told you, I have not bought feed. And this is a 40 pound, 40 pound bag game bird feed, 30%. This is what I keep my quills on. Y'all know when I had chickens, I never put them on lail feed, I kept them on starter. That's all they need, y'all. They just, it's the same thing they call in the lail pellets and all that. So, what I, um, what I did, I do is I keep mine. Even in the future, guys, say the same when I get quail, get um, chickens again. When we done left this area, that's going to be still be the same thing. So I do the same for my quails. Is they grown and they stay right on this right here. And that's fine. So I'm going to show you how we're going to mix it. Around they mix it um, a, a certain way. So it can be even in proportion. So we're going to show you how we mix it okay yeah like i say it normally be scratch rain that i mix and give my quills um yeah so i'm gonna be buying more feed come soon i have to buy more feed that i won't be mixing any grain with or whatever because of what i'm gonna have if it's guys will they ain't gonna need the grain um until they get grown so yeah this is how we do. We do a half bag of game bird feed to, um, cause just like chickens, quails need that protein to lay eggs. Okay, my quails lay year round. <laughs> I got a little secret to how I do that. <laughs> um, but my quails lay year round. My chickens was laying year round. People are like, how you give them to lay? How you give them to lay? How you give them to lay? You can't tell everything. <laughs> can't tell everything. The people won't tell you nothing. And I had to learn that. I tell everybody everything, everything, everything. Teach people how to do this, how to do that. Why they look like a tomato plant? I think that's a tomato plant. Yeah, that's a tomato plant. Y'all done sprung up over here in this um thing. I'm going to let it grow. If it turns out to be a tomato plant, then I just got an extra tomato plant. I'll show y'all in a minute. I know a tomato plant when I see a tomato plant. That's a tomato plant. But I'm going to let it grow and we'll see what it, you know, what it do. But if it's a tomato plant, I don't want it to die from that frost. I know it's one. I believe it's one. But yeah, so we mix the the uh feed normally we pull a half a bag but i think this is more than the scratch grain normally will have that. so that's that's a lot more look at it and that just helps only two cups out of that yeah see so we'll mix more like i say i'm gonna end up filling this up so i have it for the water month but that feed right there is 25 dollars a bag now 40 pound bag so i like for them to have more protein in they feed than anything else so um yeah so we'll see let's see what it's looking like yeah just one scoop and yeah i'm gonna have to get some more um feed but this right here this um cracked corn i got it was cheaper and it's a 50 pound bag and it was cheaper than um the um the scratch grain and so yeah i just got it and kept it so that's how it look and it's safe for cattle sheep goats and chickens okay so yeah i give it to my quails and it's 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 chopped up really good my quails don't have no if they can eat scratch grain i know they can eat this right here so um they don't have no problem they just is ha happy and everything like that so yeah i definitely need to get um another bag um probably two more bags to fill it up because i like for that to be filled completely but that'll last a while so let me go ahead and get it out there um did you want to feed them I I normally do it. 
I normally deal with them. That was the goal, y'all, so I can come out here and deal with it myself. But I just left out of there, so. Um, well, you know what? I'll go ahead and do it. Because that was the goal anyway. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, it ain't like y'all haven't saw me do it. But I'll go ahead and do it real quick. Because that was the thing for me to be able to, you know, go out, get it done and stuff like that without, you know. Yeah. So, um, let me get the, the feed. tomato plant right here too yeah i think these tomato plants i'm probably gonna take them up i think them for tomato plants so let me get them some water Look y'all, these two things that I know is gotta be tomato plants. I'm finna go ahead and get them up and I'm gonna pot them and put them in the greenhouse on the deck. That way I can make sure that they tomato plants. Which I'm pretty sure it's a volunteer tomato plant. What y'all think? My gardeners, that's a tomato plant, ain't it? This one, look, it turned out to be one that's gonna go in that green in the other greenhouse. Okay, I got one inside this coop too, so I'm about to I'm put this one right here, and I'm about to go inside of here. And I'm about to snatch this one up. It's right in here on this side. Y'all can see me when I get right there. I'm about to go ahead, go in here, make sure ain't no spiders. Look, y'all, 
Look at this. That's a big tomato plant. I know it is. And the frost was going to kill them in the next couple of days. That's inside that coop. So y'all come on. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to pot these too. And if they bloom. Oh yeah, that's tomato. Because tomatoes have a, a distinct scent. These are tomato plants. Um, I should. I don't know if I want to go and put them in the big greenhouse. Or. I don't know. I'm going to put them over here just to make sure. But I'm pretty sure. Y'all, I'm so confident that these are tomato plants. I'm going to go ahead and put them in here in my greenhouse. I'm confident these are tomato plants. They was volunteers, okay? So, I'm that confident. So, um, I'm about to clean off some labels because I was able to get me some nail polish remover so I can take um, the marking off my off my labels I don't want that to so that's what you see me doing trying to see if this nail polish remover is going to take this and it don't look like well yeah you got to keep rubbing it <laughs> um take this off my labels oh uh uh that's, that's going to take a minute mm. yeah so that's gonna be some work. Let me see if it'll work on these white labels better. See if the nail polish removal will work on these better. Let's see. If not, I just have to do what I've been doing. Yeah, it's not working. Somebody suggested and it's not working. So I'm just gonna keep it scratched on the back and I'm gonna put unknown tomato plant because I don't know what kind. Uh, see if I got another one. And I'm just gonna put unknown. Um, okay. So now I'm about to put these up here. I'm gonna put these one on each side, I think. Yeah one on each side up here and i'm finna go on here and pot these because i am i am pretty sure pretty sure okay pretty sure so let me just take y'all this way and i'm gonna pop one right here yeah i'm gonna pop one right here Look, we we look. We gotta preserve all we can. Uh huh. All we can. They've been over there just growing. I'm glad I saw them before we got the that frost that's coming. Cause then they would have probably died off, and then probably would have came back during the spring, or we would have been just mourning and mourning and mourning, and while it was twigs or something, and didn't even know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Unknown tomato. And we're going to put this one right over here in this area. Okay. Right here. Bring y'all down so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Mm. 
Dustin that start turning bending at the end how it was I'm gonna go ahead and cage it cuz I know that it's a tomato plant when you get a chance bring me my green cage bring me two of them Green, red, just bring me two. It don't matter. Um, it don't well, matter. Good, because we only have one green cage. Oh. And red. Well, bring me the ones you got. That's all there. I always remember you smell a tomato plant no matter what variety they're gonna always have a distinct smell that's why I decided not to even pot it not to even well give me a real not to even pot it um and a small thing to see because I'm pretty sure I'm confident I know been growing long enough huh uh -uh, I'm gonna put a green one over there how many more of the color ones I got though? You only got two red ones left. Two red ones left and that green one? Yeah. Okay. Got more than what I thought. Okay. Yeah. Got that one in there? Put this right here. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So let me go ahead and cage this one. I'm going to go ahead and. Because I know it's a tomato plant. I do. 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 All right. Got those up in there. Got those up in there. Now I need to um see. Oh, we gotta do something. We got something to do, yeah. All right, y'all. So I know y'all probably was like, what is in that box that's on that table? What's in that box that on that table? All right, y'all. So I ordered something. I ordered something. I ordered something. Hey, I ordered something. <laughs> so I have a tiny, what is it called? Tiny, um, I have to look at tiny something, but it's a dwarf size banana plant. Yes. A dwarf side yes you heard me I ain't playing no games y'all I ain't playing no games this is a dwarf size banana plant banana plant and I am about to I got it yesterday but I was so tired after we put this thing up and all that I was so tired y'all I didn't even have time to do it to pot it I gotta pot it now and I'm gonna pot it right here this is, or do I want to pot it? No, I'm going to pot it right here. Um, yeah, I'm going to pot it right here by the tree. It's a banana plant, okay? I need some more soil. Because once I put her in there, I do not want to bother her. Um, where is mine? What did I do? Oh, let me go get this thing real quick. All right, y'all. So what I'm finna do is I'm gonna add some more soil to this bucket. 
Oh, that's some good soul. Good, good soul. Good, good soul. So. Get her all in there. Nice. Now this is a dwarf side banana plant. Hopefully she'll fruit within 9 to 12 months. Okay. Um, hopefully she'll fruit between and within 9 to 12 months. Let me look on here so I can tell you exactly what kind she is. Um... I have to look on my thing that way I can tell you exactly what kind of banana plant she is for anybody that wants to get one let's see so she is the um right here oh Okay, here we go. Here we go, y'all. Bear with me. She's the ultra dwarf banana with tiny. Okay, do this for you. Okay, she's the truly tiny. The ultra dwarf banana. Ultra dwarf banana. She's the truly tiny, okay? And she is going to put on some small, small. Let me show y'all. If y'all can see. She's going to put on some small, small bananas. Yes. Some small, small bananas. I'm so excited. So excited, y'all. So this is all part of expanding. Expanding the thing. I Look, I don't believe in waiting to spring to do nothing. Go on and get it done so you can sit back and do more during springtime. So I got her in there. I got her in there, okay? So... Yeah, I'm happy about that. The buzz on in my favorite song is playing in a Broadway bar. Then you walk in and you're all alone. The hottest in the room by far. And you look up and our eyes lock and my heart falls straight out of my chest, baby. Your lips and your sweet smile Let me kiss it till I die For the rest of our lives, yes You and me were meant to be For the rest of our lives, drop your guard And take a ride with me Cause you got what I want Oh, and I got what you need For the rest of our lives, it's gonna be a done deal well, the sun's up, you wake up, an angel in the morning light, and I don't ever want to leave, the bed's messed up just right, so we make love and we make plans, and God knows that I'm all about it We're up high, never coming down Baby, just you and I For the rain Alright y'all, so this is how everything look Um, everything has been watered So what I'm going to do is get a hose connector and another hose To, so I can be like in the center and reach everything Um, that's what I'm going to have to do Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and move my seedling trays maybe to the center uh this right here yeah that's what i think i'm gonna do move them to the center right here and um that way i have more room okay so 
but yeah so that how everything is looking so far all right still got a lot of space a lot more stuff that needs to be planted or started and everything like that um also if y'all was wondering what is the white stuff on my little trees my um two lemon tree that's the diatomaceous earth i just wanted to say that that was diatomaceous earth that i had on them inside the um when they was inside in the um grow tent but yeah this is how everything is looking even on the outside um they got this tarp and stuff together so i even have the garden and stuff down here um yeah so that was our main thing was getting this together and it's together i'm so 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 happy um yeah yeah i don't know if i may have to i may put my one of my grow lights or two of my grow lights in here i have not decided yet if i'm gonna do that um but definitely i gotta get the fan and stuff set up in here so that's coming up um probably may do that tomorrow because today was just you know getting this stuff situated because like i say today is saturday and come wednesday is when we start getting freezing temperatures and stuff like that um up here i had some pepper plants that was um um that's how everything is looking so far so let's see oh uh, up here is where we put the hibernera peppers and i need to go ahead and harvest some of them but where we put the hibernera peppers and stuff like that in here um and these two greenhouses to try to save them from the frost um or whatnot so yeah y'all everything is coming together coming together all right so look y'all ronde pulling that thing i told him he gonna hurt his back that's that hundred gallon um grow bag that thing heavy but where it was sitting at it was in a swank like i told him don't worry about it because i don't need him pulling out throwing out his back that this song gun right here y'all is heavy you hear me it is heavy y'all well he got it over here so what you think because you 200 pounds solid you can pull this. This a hundred gallon grow bag. Say what? Is what? Easy work. Easy work. Really? And you over here trying to catch it, huh? I ain't catching my breath. Because you condition. You condition for it. Okay. It is what it is. Oh. Ah! Okay. Look, y'all. I got to harvest this tomorrow. Somebody told me I need to harvest. <laughs> and I know I need to harvest. So, but I'm glad it is over here. It looks better. He was able to pull it to level ground. Um, so, yeah, I forgot about my blueberry bushes, y'all. I'm probably just going to cut them down and leave them out here for the winter. During the winter because I don't know if I can get them three buckets in there with them potato plants. Oh, then, yeah, that's a weed. That's got to go. Okay. You think them three buckets can get behind them potato plants? Them three uh, blueberry buckets. You think? I think it was a little slack over there. Look at that. That's a weed in my tangerine tree. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to pull that out. I think I got all these off in here. Mm-hmm. There you go. Guess that's conditioning too. <laughs> he said, yeah. Huh? Just saying. It what? I'm just saying. You just saying. Okay. All right, y'all. So probably gonna try to get those three buckets over here. Um behind this greenhouse. Let me show y'all. Look, I need to grab some strawberries. And I think I'm going to grab some of these. Look, these are my strawberries. Look at this. Whole bed of strawberries, y'all. Strawberry plants. Oh. So, I need to grab this paper towel out of here. 
It's trash, trash right there. That's gonna have to go to the dumpster. Um, look at it. Thank you, sir. But yeah, I'm probably gonna tra be transplanting some strawberries, keep some, um, some plants ready for spring. This is my apple tree. Yeah. <laughs> um, my olive tree. This supposed to be a patio olive, and look what I done growed it to. This supposed to be a patio olive, and look what I done growed it to. Yes, and another one, my pomegranate over here. I have some fertilizer sticks. I'll probably do that tomorrow where I start um, fertilizing my stuff. Oh, I think he's trying to see real quick if we got room. If we got room. Yeah. One, two. Well, I'm going to set them in the back. So they'll go like that in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go and stick those over here, y'all. And that way they'll sit under here with my tomato, with my potatoes. And under this little greenhouse thing. Now, this is one he bought me, what, 2020? I don't know where he got it from. It was off on the site. Um, I don't even think he remember. But... Um, gonna go ahead and put those over here that way they'll be squared away y'all so yeah I like how it come I like how it's coming how it's coming back together with even more you know with even more so it's getting late so once those come over here I don't think it's nothing else I'm gonna do out here today definitely have to be out here tomorrow earlier i think tomorrow's supposed to be some 80 degree weather um definitely got to come out here and finish knocking out some things so i can take care of my garage area because i have some things in the grow tent but um i'm gonna got some things i'm gonna bring out to put out here and just keep it minimal in the in the um grow tent thing you know so yeah um Trying to make sure I got everything that's for, you know, let me see. Ah, ah, go up there and get the celery and bring it down here while this thing is open. I'll show you which one it is. I'm going to go ahead and throw the celery over here too, y'all. Yeah, go ahead and throw the celery over here too. Why not? Um, I got some celery. Because last time I remember the cold did um, go all the way over. Um, no, I got to plant those. But in the yellow buckets, they going to look just like that. They just taller. I think right there, I think it's two buckets should be. Okay, whatever I can't get, I'll just... Um, you got to sit in between the buckets. So you don't even better get maybe one more. One more? Okay. So if I get one more in there... And then I'll just take that one, huh? Which one more? No, yeah, that's going to be the one more. So, utilizing, y'all, the space, you know? Utilizing the space, because I got pepper plants up there in that greenhouse, you know? So, this is what it's going to look like. And when them, them days where it's a little warmer, you know, maybe in the 50s or something, come out here, grab what you need, and close it back. All right, y'all, so we was able to get one more, the other celery under here, okay? Because I got a six-pack of celery I need to, um, I need to, um, what is it? <laughs> and, oh, yeah, the greenhouse thing don't even need to go on it because it's not frost yet. Oh, uh, let's see. I got some stevia right here. Just just put it right there in the center. Go on down, go down, go down. Right there. Yeah. So I had a stevia I needed to bring. Before I forget it, up off my deck. Because I'm going to redo my deck. And take whatever buckets up, whatever buckets up there. Um, You can bring them down. For 9 times 10, I'm going to take that stuff out. If they're not heavy, whatever buckets on the deck right now, bring them down here. Um... Yeah, so I was able to get the other celery, another celery in there. So, look at that. Utilizing. Doing what you got to do. Doing what you got to do. Making room if you can. 
hey y'all that's the end of this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe y'all i hope this video was motivation inspirational um us expanding the homestead okay i hope it was it was motivational and all that good stuff so um yeah make sure you're doing what you got to do and i will see y'all in the next one if it's jehovah's will y'all be safe okay um till next time bye nope happy homesteading that's it that's it happy homesteading bye